Good afternoon, Southwest Florida. I'm Carly Bradley. This Naples Herald lunch break is sponsored by Conditioned Air, the comfort people since 1962. This afternoon, we'll tell you about an ongoing safety issue in Florida, designer brands joining forces, and more. Today is Tuesday, May 9th, and this is the lunch break. Nearly 125 wildfires were active in the state on Monday, and the dry conditions are expected to continue into the early summer. Governor Rick Scott on April 11th declared a state of emergency across Florida due to the increased wildfires, a move intended to make it easier for agencies to share firefighting resources. Since the start of the year, there have been more than 2,000 wildfires in Florida, burning more than 150,000 acres. Florida is currently in the middle of its worst wildfire season in years, and unfortunately, it looks as though there is no end in sight. To read more about this ongoing issue, visit leeherald.com. Coach will spend $2.4 billion for Kate Spade, tying together two premier brands in the luxury goods sector that have fought to snare the younger shoppers. Coach has made an aggressive push to polish the image of its namesake brand, scaling back on its distribution in department stores and relying less on the discounts it had used to get shoppers to buy the brand. But to power future growth, it's begun to build an empire of luxury brands. Kate Spade executives said they see big opportunities to tap into the Coach brand's expert supply network in leather goods to cut back on costs. Coach also plans to expand Kate Spade's distribution in Asia and Europe, taking advantage of its strong overseas network. To read more about this acquisition, visit NaplesHerald.com. 25-year-old Urbano Lopez Rodriguez was stopped by Collier County Sheriff's deputies on Thursday when he allegedly tossed a lit cigarette from his vehicle in Golden Gate Estates. With a burn ban currently in effect in Collier County, police are on heightened alert for anything that may start a wildfire, especially after learning that one of the wildfires ravaging southwest Florida over the last several weeks was actually caused by a lit cigarette butt. A search of Lopez Rodriguez's vehicle also uncovered nearly two dozen counterfeit debit credit cards, according to reports. Urbano Lopez Rodriguez was subsequently charged with possession and trafficking counterfeit credit cards, fraud, and throwing a lighted match from a vehicle. To read the full arrest report, visit naplesherald.com. And that was the lunch break for today. I'm Carly Bradley. The lunch break airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. right here at naplesherald.com. And don't forget to check out our morning report that also airs Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.